This is Don Brandt and today we're going to build a precision wobbler steam engine. And there's the steam engine. That's the completed one. That's the one we're building. I'm going to be using cherry wood for the base. This cherry was in a delivery of firewood. Using a quarter twenty here to hold that down. Looks pretty good. All right. So now we'll drill a hole in the base and countersink it. Now let's drill a hole in the base. We're going to enlarge this hole now with a half inch end mill to provide clearance to install a nut on the bottom. I'm kind of concerned that may not be big enough for you. Oh, yeah, that fits in there just fine. A little deeper. Now the base will sit flat and we'll be able to securely mount the steam engine. Okay, there we go. That's for the, uh, that's for the bolt. So this is my Stuart Turner 10H. Uh, in the words of uh, my mentor, Keith Appleton, <clears throat> it was purchased on that website that we all know and love. Um, and fortunately, I brought a I bought a problem child and I didn't know that I I thought that this thing was uh, perfectly engineered when I bought it and it, it's not um, so anyway the problem with this engine has to do with the crank and uh, the bearing blocks here um, so originally the, these are the original bearing blocks there to the right and um, you can see that they were screwed out twice and. There's some issues, and there's the original crank, and I don't know if you can see this, but they don't. It doesn't even line up. It's not even, and it's got a lot of slop in it, and it falls apart. So I put my mind to it to try to redesign the crank, and I built the crank, and I put the pins in the crank. There you can see the pins, um, but uh, unfortunately, I just don't have the skill uh, to build a crank uh, for this Stuart. Uh, Turner engine and it is a, a multi-piece. It's not um, one that you just uh, would machine And then also I worked on uh, the bearing blocks too And if, if you look at the left bearing block You can see that it moves around and that's due to me unable to produce the level of precision needed uh, uh, for this engine Then the next thing, I'm going to go ahead and sand this up a little bit, get rid of some of these saw marks. I may leave some of them, just because uh, they're pretty deep. Again, leave us rustic. Uh, but so I'm going to work on this a little bit, and I'll be back. Okay, so I think this is how I'm going to leave it here. We got some saw marks here, and then let's see here. I round it over the edges, just ever so slightly. Get rid of the sharp corners there. When you're using an oil finish, I recommend that you use a fine tongue or linseed oil. In this case, I'm using Crisco. Check out the description where you can find a link to buy this engine on eBay, and thanks for watching.